think the university, they wanted uh, a new signature, something, an attractor on the south side. The plane, the horizontal, is really what the Midwest is also all about. It's the fields, it's the horizontal buildings. It's really the, the working surface for all of us. It's the surface of Mother Earth. We had an idea that there was a vertical street, which we could call the tower, and then there's also a horizontal street that runs through the building. What I like is as you're approaching the building, it's quite changeable, but depending on the light, sometimes parts of the building seem to disappear, and that has to do, of course, with the reflective glass. Our concept was that kind of an industrial shed, skylights facing north, so drinking in this beautiful light, the south side of those skylights being solar panels. One of my favorite views is looking down uh, from the, the tower down onto the skylights. And the courtyard is the outdoor social heart of the building, where the cafe will spill out and people can come and have food. It is the fact that the exterior, while interesting and, and changeable, actually is a prelude to the interior, which where the real activity, the real life of the building is, much as it is with people. It's in many ways a very tough building, so we're showing a lot of the structural concrete walls. At the same time, we didn't want it to feel cold. In the performance penthouse, we have wooden floor and all these walls are wood because you needed to have a room that could both take a performance, but at the same time, maybe have a classroom next door. Or this room that has a performance might need to be able to have um, a film projected in it and at the same time be a classroom itself. And we did listen very, very intently to what they wanted in each individual room. So I think when you come to a room such as the music uh, practice room, uh, the theater, I think these are really uh, specific to the needs of the program. Many of these rooms um, are boxes within boxes. They have sprung floors, so the floor that you're standing on is not the, the base floor. There's, there's springs in between the lower floor and the upper floor. There's spaces between the inner wall and the outer wall. Each one has to be uh, separated acoustically from the others. So we have really sort of rooms within rooms, and so it becomes a kind of three-dimensional puzzle as to how it all goes together. Then this uh, beautiful factory that could be provide great light for painting studios and seeing the colors that are emerging on the floors and in the canvases. Incredible light for sculpture, for workspaces. And it's a building that values how you move around and how you move up and down. So stairs become very, very important to us. Last, last spring when the building had just opened, we saw a sign in the stairway, which was a quote, I guess, from Harry Potter that said, beware the stairs, they're always changing. We wanted people to walk between floors. And actually the stairways, which are fire stairs, we've just decided to make the most glorious places so that you would be interested in walking down uh, a few steps, sitting for a moment, looking out at the view, and having a conversation with a friend who might be uh, ascending from a floor. There are all these sort of small surprises and places where people can insert themselves and you see something new. And so it never feels tired to me. I want this to be an adventure. I want the whole experience of, of a building, this building, to be an adventure. Part of the adventure in our work is knowing that our core values are there. For example, interiors are more important than exteriors. This issue of buildings being weighty and have a commitment to the earth, and then coming down to the earth in a meaningful way that's connecting to its surroundings, those, those are the values that we bring to the project. If every single project would be different, but holding those values, that would be, that's a good life.